This man operates strange switches every day. He presses the switch and a random thing comes out of the wall. But he doesn't want anything more. He just wants to leave because he's been stuck in this strange room for over two months. He presses switches to try to get out. But it doesn't work. The man then started pressing the same switch. But the chopsticks kept coming out and wobbly spraying the outside. The man couldn't help but laugh a little at the scene. He accidentally touched the switch next to him. The next second, a cart came out and directly injured the man. The man picks up the horn from the ground and starts swearing. Although it's no use, the man tries to press another switch. The man is puzzled when he realizes that nothing has come out of the wall. He feels powerless and angry at this farce. As the man continues to press switches, useless objects soon fill the room. Feeling physically and mentally exhausted, he picks up a ball and throws it at the wall switch. But this time, it's a plate of sushi that pops out of the wall. Curious. The man goes over to check and realizes that the sushi has no soy sauce. He tries to press the switch several times, but all he sees is sushi. So the man had to fill his stomach first. When he finished eating and pressed the switch again, he saw soy sauce. The man screamed in anger and pressed another switch to find the exit. A strange countdown then appeared in the room. By the time he realized the problem, it was too late. After resetting the countdown, a large loaf of bread fell out. The man found himself trapped in a strange room. No cell phone or computer. Just a mysterious switch on the wall. Press the switch and something random appears, like opening a blind box. Fortunately, the man gets a few comic books to help him have a little fun. But when he finished episode 5 and wanted to move on to episode 6, and then came episode 7, episode 8, episode 9, so he stopped reading the comics and pressed the other buttons. But this time, he got a door. The man thought the door was an exit and tried to rush out. However, the door closed automatically. He pressed the button again to try but forgot the button he just pressed. The man pressed the switch at random, and saw a mysterious man rush out, then sink back into the wall. Fortunately, after several attempts, the man finally found the doorknob and was about to leave. The next second, the switch went up and the door closed automatically. He had to press the switch again, and rush to the door to leave as quickly as possible. The man realized that the switch had flipped up again, so he wrapped a skipping rope around the switch. He tries to run the shortest distance, but it's no use to reach the door. The man simply lay down on the cart. He wanted to reach the door quickly with the help of the cart, but what he didn't realize was that the direction of the cart was not easy to grasp. The helpless man hurriedly moved the flower pot to the switch, thinking that would be enough as the switch is too powerful. The weight of the flower pot is not enough to fully depress the switch to make the flower pot heavier. The man found a good way. He filled the pot with water and placed it on the switch. When he found the water, he realized it was only flowing over his head and nowhere else, so he had to fill the flower pot any way he could. He had to find a way to fill the pot with water. Hours went by, but there wasn't enough water in the pot. He was so angry, and he took the pot and watered the flowers because he'd had a good idea. The man then flipped the sushi switch and filled the pot with sushi. Just as he was about to lift the pot, he realized it was too heavy to lift. He had to grab some chopsticks and dislodge some of the sushi before he could move the pot to the doorknob. But he'd forgotten which button was on the gate so he pressed the switch to try it. The next second, the mysterious man emerged from the wall and destroyed the flower pot with a kick. The chances of the man trying to escape are to slim because he's stuck in a strange room full of switches and has to find his way out first. That day, he managed to open a door. He quickly taped the switch to prevent it from rising. When the switch rose, the door disappeared, but his method failed to secure the switch. The man taped a piece of iron directly over the switch all the way to the door. But just as he reached the door, the switch popped up. The man began to hurl insults as he was dropped on the back by the descending door. As he pondered how to get out of here, a rope suddenly appeared. The rope gave him an instant boost of motivation. The next second, the rope suddenly disappeared. As he leapt into the air, the rope reappeared in an instant. The man then thought of a way to use the rope to get out of the door as quickly as possible. After many attempts, he finally reached the door. But once there, he realized that the door had a lock that wouldn't open. When he got angry, the door instantly slammed shut and crashed into his body. If he gets it again, he'll have to call a doctor to save his life. When he kicked the wall, he accidentally touched the switch on it. The next second, a key instantly appeared in the sky. The man then used the rope to insert the key into the door as quickly as possible. He thought he could open the door and get out, but the door still wouldn't open. The man looked up and saw a combination lock. As he shouted in anger, he realized that in an instant, the door had swung open again, so he was hit by the door again. After being hit, the man suddenly remembers that the mysterious man had three numbers in the back of his head. These numbers could be the code for the combination lock. So the man tried the code again and again, and finally opened the door. But when the door was opened, the door behind him closed instantly. The man found himself trapped in an even smaller space. He tried to open the door, but couldn't and realized he'd been trapped by the false door. There had been food in the previous room. 
but there was nothing here. He remembered his time in the previous room and felt remorse, but there's no such thing as regret. Just when he'd given up hope, a cold wind suddenly blew across his cheeks. It turned his head to follow where the wind was coming from, but accidentally found a passage. At that moment, he had no time to think and rushed inside the passage. Although the road was endless, he knew that to get out, he had to go for it. After running relentlessly, he came to an open space and thought he'd escaped. But when he looked up, he realized he was in another room full of switches. Apparently, it's a bottomless pit, and once you're in, there's no way out. This film tells us that, no matter how difficult the road ahead, we mustn't give up because working hard doesn't always lead to results, but neither does not working hard.